I need the DRS, which will come online in the final lap here. Welcome back, everyone, to some more F122 driver career mode. Time for the U.S. Grand Prix around the Circuit of America's second best car on the grid. I think we have some upgrades coming through, a minor DRS aerodynamics upgrade coming in before the Grand Prix. So hopefully that'll come through, give us a little bit of boost in performance. Uh, yeah, so... Our components aren't looking too great. I'm trying to fit as many of the old worn components as I can and try to save the remaining ones for uh, the rest of the season. Currently sitting at the top of the table right now with a 40 point gap to Lando Norris who did struggle in the last two Grand Prix scoring no points. Singapore had a wild weather situation that really helped us out. But the US Grand Prix is today. We got three more after today's video. So let's see if we can finish strong before F123 comes around. So taking a look and yes we do get that minor upgrade and we're heading to the u.s grand prix so let's see what we can pull out of the bag here Let's jump into qualifying, see where we can put this car. Circuit of the Americas is a circuit that we're relatively strong at, so I'm hoping for a good session overall. Let's see how fast this car really is and see if we can make it into Q3, which will be a bit rainy. Coming around the final bends here. Oh, yes, nice grip. Could be tighter. And I'll cross the line, P5, only about 1.2 tenths in it. Did get the fastest sector 3 though. Oh boy, that was good. Ah, it's only P2. Again, the McLarens are way too fast for us. They're a full 2 tenths faster than us right now. Jeez, that is mad. Absolutely mad. Here we go then. Yes, P8 for us. And what is all this penalties up and down the grid? Five position penalty, five position penalty for our teammate Jay on Deruvula. Leclerc as well. Okay, there's some penalties up and down. Latifi, Shaw, Magnuson, Russell, and Tictum are out. Race director, let's take a look. Incidents, collisions. These three guys collided. Okay, so it's a grid penalty. Well, moving on to Q2. Let's see if we can improve on our time. Let's see if a lap on my use soft is good enough to see us through. We're six tenths off the pace of Alonso, who's probably using fresh tires. Very nice, two tenths improved and some. Oh, we're dipping down into the one tenths again. Good exit. Not good enough. I was losing time, so I stayed out. I just came back into the pits, essentially. Jan Deruvula, P7. That's very nice. I just about scraped through in P10. Joe Schwartzman, Okun, Drugovic, and Piastri are out. The rain really helped us out here. Let's see if we can get a soft lap in before the enters come. Whoa. It's wet out here. But we did just set the fastest lap. Let's see what other cars are setting. Hopefully slower laps than I do. It's getting wetter and wetter out here. Ouch. Yes! Another fastest lap. Let's go. Oh, found two tenths somewhere. Let's go. Pole position with a 20th thousandth of a second gap to Lando Norris behind us. So the wet weather really helped us out today, really leveling out the playing field. Jehan Druvla in P7, underperforming in the Ferrari, but hopefully can come through with some points today. So let's see what we have in store for us. Let's go into the US Grand Prix. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, there are a couple things you can do to support the channel. First off, press that like button and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe by pressing the red button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank Thank you guys so much for your support hope you enjoyed the rest of the video here we are then in one of the fastest growing cities in the united states the fabulous austin in the great state of texas 
The circuit itself, 14 miles southeast of the city centre, has been home to the US Grand Prix since 2012. The latest in a long list of iconic tracks to have that honour. It's the Circuit of the Americas then, situated 14 miles outside of the great city of Austin. This is a 3.6 mile lap with 20 corners, 10 to the left and 10 to the right, and top speeds of around 200 miles per hour. Overtaking opportunities are available into turns 1 and 12, especially with that rear wing DRS wide open. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Maverick lines up on pole position, and Lando Norris lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Pierre Gasly, and Albon. Perez, they've taken a grid penalty. Oscar Piastri, Drogovic, and Jehan Daruvala. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Leclerc, Schwartzman, Guan Yu Zhou, and Tictum. Russell, Magnussen, Yuki Tsunoda. They've taken a grid penalty. And Esteban Ocon, Stroll, and Nicholas Latifi. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Here we go then, P1 starting position. We got the outside line heading into turn one. Let's see if the medium to soft strategy will work out for us. We'll be a little faster going on the mediums for the first stint. We will keep a um, another strategy of medium hards available to us. So lap 14 pit. So that's in the books in case we need it. And we'll drop our fuel a little bit and let's head on into the race then. Yep, medium to soft. Let's see if we can pull off a good one. Here we go then. The formation lap gets underway and the excitement here is building as we near ever closer to the start of the race. Which team will come out on top? Who's got their strategies right for today's race? Well, we'll soon find out. So as all the cars take their positions on the grid, the teams will be hoping their strategies pay off for them in today's race. The question I'm asking is which teams have got it right and which ones have got it horribly wrong? Here we go then, let's get this race underway. Where's my revs? Thank you. Let's out. Delayed start. I don't know where my revs went. Oh my god. Huge shunt from Alonso. Alonso hit me, man. Why am I getting the warning? I was breaking in time. Alonso didn't know where his breaking point was. Well, that boosted me into P1 again. Ah, are you sure? Track limits. Ah, I gotta take that better. You know you can cut those corners, especially along this back straight, the entry and the exit. You can really cut those corners, and I need to make the most of it by making sure I don't wheel spin as I try to exit. The power in this car is too immense, so wheel spin is a very likely story, especially on lap 1 when there seems to be far less grip than later on in the race, which is a little odd to me. Okay. Let's get it. Why are you diving it there? Why are you there? Fastest lap, let's go. Norris is trying it. He's got the slipstream. Ooh, okay. Taking the slaloms again. Yep, I got far more grip. Tires are up to temp. Brakes must be up in temp as well.
I am slowly pulling away from Norris. Daruvla up into P5. That's a very good sight. Come on, Verstappen. Put Norris under pressure, please. I would very much like the assist to pull away outside of the... Oh, God. Oh, yes. Nice cut. I need every little help I can get, man. These AI drivers are ruthless, as you can tell from the recent videos. Ooh. Okay, I am pulling away and then I lost time. Okay, another fastest lap, 133.7. Oh, Daruvala goes faster. That's good. I don't mind who gets the fastest lap point, either Daruvala or myself. Softs are really dying off now. As you can see, Verstappen and I are pulling away on the mediums. We're in the optimum operating window. Daruvala stuck behind Piastri and Norris running on the softs. So I'm not sure what's going on with him. He needs to make that overtake soon. Otherwise, he's just burning his tires behind traffic. Not what we need. Oh no, Verstappen might get DRS and take o overtake me here. Nah. I'm gonna deploy a little ERS, try to make sure that he does not get this DRS here. Oh, a little wheel spin. Not good. Needed that grip. Come on. 1.1 second. Try to pull away. Come on. Ferrari. We can do this. There we go. Norris and I think Piastri are going to pit. No, Piastri stays out. Soft tire runner should be pitting. Oh boy. Getting better and better. I say that and Verstappen's right on my tail all of a sudden. Oh no. I don't think I can pull out of a DRS from him. Let's make life difficult. Oh, it's almost a second. I think he still has DRS. Yep. His rear wing just sla flapped open. But I'm staying well ahead of him. Corner cut. Thank you. Strategic. Do I have damage? No, I do not. He nudged me. How is he this pacey? Excuse me, I got DRS. I have DRS. What is that straight line speed from Verstappen? Impossible. I deployed ERS and DRS and Verstappen was right on my tail for that whole straight. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. The AI is so broken, man. The AI is so broken. Oh, there's a yellow flag in Sector 3. Tsunoda is out. Interesting. Safety car? I do not think so. Absolutely baffling how Verstappen and I are full 9 seconds ahead of Drugovic who's in P3. And 10 seconds to Gazi who's in P4. What is this? What happened to the AI? Verstappen is so fast. He's been really pushing me. How is everyone else so slow? What's going on with the AI recently? It's weird. Okay, well Verstappen continues. He's got DRS on me. Trying to stay well ahead of him. He might pit this lap for the hards, I think. Well, clears in. He's gonna go onto the hards, I think. I think it's now time to pit for the mediums. But I'm feeling confident right now. I think I can move on to the softs. No problem, and that's gonna be lap 18. Still got some grip. 
I just need to focus on my driving. Yep, the rest of the medium runners are moving on to the hearts now. Okay. Let's keep an eye on the tire wear, on the tire grip. Make a strategy decision accordingly. Norris on the mediums? Oh right, he went soft medium. Driver behind. Norris is behind you. Okay, the gap behind is 18.3 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tyres are six laps old. And the time last lap was a 1 minute 33.2. 1 minute 33.2, wow. He is fast. Box this lap. I see a glimpse of the back markers here. Interesting. These guys must have crashed early doors and then had another pit stop, so they're doing two stops essentially. One out of necessity and then another because they had to get a new set of tires to see out the rest of the race. But I'm going in now for the soft. I will be releasing P3 behind Verstappen. Norris and Verstappen are dangerously fast, so let's see what kind of pace I have on the softs. I'm worried that they're going to be way too fast, but we'll see. Good stint. Now, overall, very solid stint. Optimal turning. Give me a good stop, boys. 2.4. That's fantastic, indeed. Come on, get me out. Get me out, get me out, get me out. So there goes Norris and Verstappen down this main straight. Not too bad, not too bad. But I do need to heat the tires up, so... I'm gonna lose about a second here, and then we'll probably gain a couple seconds as we try to put in fastest lap times. Surely I got DRS here, as well as the fastest lap, I think. Yes! Fastest lap, DRS, let's go. Let's try to dive it on Verstappen here. Oh, I love the softs. Norris is not too far away either. It's only 1.6 ahead. Let's try to get him while these tires last. Whoa. Come on. Ah, I can't get DRS off him. Sadly. Would have loved some DRS down this back straight, but I'll have to do it with the ERS. And some slipstream, maybe a little slipstream effect. I don't know. Oh, yes. Norris is an absolute sitting duck here. Come on. Fastest lap again. We did get some DRS down this straight. Maybe we can get a nice slalom and then maybe I can get my dream of getting the DRS down the back straight. Oh, S1 opens on. Out. Oh, safety car. Safety car. Oh, wow. Lando Norris got lucky or unlucky, depending on how you see it. E, I only have used tires. Are these used much better than the one I have on now, do you think? I might box for these U set of softs just to get a little bit of a fresher tire because I think it's much less than 
In we go for you set of softs. I think it will be much better than the set we have on now. So we can really push at the end. Pass for Stappen and Norris. Let's see. Yeah, 4%. That's good. That's good. This was the set I was using just before uh, the wet stint happened in qualifying. Okay, I can get past Piastri and Verstappen. Maybe even Norris in one straight. As soon as the safety car restart happens, I'm going to get them in turn one. Three lap showdown. Let's get it. 26, 27, 28. That's all that's left. On relatively fresh softs. 10%. Not bad. Oh, tire temps are dropping rapidly here. Okay, I think 77 should be fine. These will heat up relatively quickly, so it'll be fine. Let's see. Let's see how Norris does this. There we go, times it to perfection. There we go, Piastri's already sorted. We got Verstappen to negotiate past again. Norris is already extending. All right, here we go, Verstappen. Oh, my nose is itchy. Oh God, all right. Back into the slipstream, please. Let's get Verstappen quickly and try to push on Norris. Oh, really pushing me on the inside, aren't you? Have that, mate. We're close. Again, very grippy. These tires are lovely. Let's see. Can I get this slipstream? Oh, he's still too fast. I need the DRS, which will come online in the final lap here. Here we go then. DRS. Take me to P1, buddy. Oh, lovely jubbly. Around the outside this time. Got him. Lovely. Left it to the last lap to get that job done. And there we go. Oh, this is beautiful. Tire life just in time to die out. And just like that, P1, baby. And fastest lap. I love this circuit. I love you guys. Grazie, ragazzi. P1, so you are P1. Absolutely fantastic. That is a brilliant, brilliant result. Well done. Well, what a drive that was to take the win for Ferrari today. So, Natalie. What do you think helped them deliver this result? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. There we go. What a marvelous sight to see two Ferraris in the points this time. That was a marvelous strategy call to put on the 
use lightly used softs at the end and also fastest lap 131.9 pretty fast a full second faster than Lando Norris who did it on his like worn softs towards the end of a heavy fuel uh, stint so thank you very much I'll take that Max Verstappen rounds out the podium with Piastri, Gasly, Daruvula, Leclerc, Tictum, Perez and Schwartzman in the points Alonso, Albon, Drogovic, Zero, Latifi, Magnussen, Russell, Stroll round out the finishers with Ocon and Tsunoda failing to finish our today's race yep standing as I should be oh excuse me that is the highlights I am extending further than Lando Norris now 48 points in it now fantastic Daruvula despite scoring points falls behind Piash who scored more than him today so we've got three races left and 48 points in it with a sprint race weekend as well so it's still all to play for 60 points now between McLaren and my or Ferrari just 60 so that is catchable with three races remaining and a sprint race as i was saying so let's see if we can clinch both the constructors and the drivers because mclaren are really bottling it let's be sure that we go into the final race because we don't want to you know celebrate too early when have pie in our face so yeah let's keep going let's see if we can push this to the limit secure both the drivers and constructors before f123 comes out but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you smash that like button subscribe using the red button down below hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next thank you guys so much for your support thank you so much for watching take care i'll see you guys in the next one